Look at it. He's behind my he's behind my frog. Look at that. That's incredible. There we go. There we go, boys. Dude, that could be a dragon. That could be a dragon. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dave here with another snakehead fishing video. We are about to hit the road and embark on another journey. We have been putting out some really good snakehead content lately, and if, I hope you guys are appreciative of it because I think it's some of the best footage out there on YouTube right now, and I'm having just a really good time filming that stuff for you guys. So if you do enjoy the stuff we're putting out, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe. But as far as today's mission goes, we're heading out to a body of water that has historically just kicked my butt so many times. I've only been there like two or three times, but every time I've been severely unlucky and I've never caught a snakehead there, despite there being pretty good numbers and some really good size out there as well. If we don't get lucky there today, we have a backup plan, but the main goal is just try to catch some more snakeheads. So that's what we're going to do. Without any further ado, let's get on the road. Let's make this thing happen and I'll see you on the water. All right, time to get this show on the road. Let's get after it today. We got snakes to catch. Beautiful morning out here got like six mile an hour winds which is not too bad and like I said in the intro this location has kicked my butt many 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 times before I've never landed a snakehead out of here even though I've tried like two or three times and uh, I think I've just been extremely unlucky I've done the right things I've seen snakeheads I've spooked them but I think today's the day we're gonna get it done at this location I'm excited to be out here I know our potential for big snakes is there and we're gonna try to deliver on that today. So start casting around. I got the Viper V2 tied on. Had a lot of success on that a couple videos ago. And we're gonna see what we can do out here. I caught this place at high tide today, which is good. It's normally very, very shallow. It's always very, very shallow actually. We're gonna spook a lot of fish in the shallow water. It's gonna be carp shooting out everywhere. Probably some snakeheads that will spook, but hopefully some snakeheads that'll be biting too. My game plan today is really just going to be get up close to these edges here and just cast parallel because obviously the snakes are going to be on the only cover that's at this location and that's right on the sides and these reeds and everything. So they should be sitting right on those edges. That's where I've seen them here before. And hopefully by casting parallel that's where we're going to be able to get those reaction strikes. I would love to get one to bite early just to get my confidence up a little bit get the skunk out of the boat as far as this place goes I've been cursed here every time I've been here so just to break that cycle would be awesome to get that done early on there's our first spook fish of the day not sure if it was a snake or a carp I'm guessing carp. Usually when the snakes spook, you can hear them make that loud splash as they go away. Carp are a little bit more subsurface, a little quieter. I'm starting to get into the area here where I was spooking a whole bunch of them last time. So this seems like really as good of an area as any to catch my first one out of this body of water. I know these snakeheads have got to be hungry. We're making a lot of good casts right now. Just have not had any action so far, but they should be starting to turn on a little bit, feeding up because it's going to storm later in the day. I'm thinking that weather pattern is going to cause them to bite a little bit better than normal. It's yet to happen, but I'm still kind of confident. About as confident as I can be at a spot I've never caught a fish.
There we go. Oh, it's a large mouth, dude. Hey, I'll take it. Gets us on the board. It's a pretty decent large mouth, too. It's like a two or three pounder. Man, he just inhaled that viper. Come here, buddy. Absolutely chomped it. That's a quality, quality bass, man. Wow. Cannot believe I got him to start the day. Hey, at least we're into something. Not the snakeheads like we want, but I will never turn down a good fish like that. Uh, let's get that out of your face, buddy. Thank you very much. He is fat, he is healthy. It's a bass that's thriving with snakeheads around. Good two and a half, three pounder. Real good fish. That's on the Snakehead Outlaws Viper V2. Good to get on the board, good to set the hook into something. First ever fish landed at this spot. Not what I thought it would be, but it's something. It's a start. Sheesh, what a gorgeous afternoon. We have made it to the next spot. And although we are down, we are not out. This is a spot that you guys have probably seen on the channel before. It's probably my most confident snakehead spot that I go to. Can always seem to catch them here. And it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm excited to be back out on this body of water. The last one was tough, but it's just gonna make it that much sweeter when we slay it out here. We're actually meeting up with a buddy of mine, Kelly from High Octane Custom Baits. He's gonna be here in about a half hour, but I'm gonna try to catch one or two or three before he gets here. See if I can figure out a pattern for the both of us because we're both hoping to have a great day out here. Starting out here with the Snakehead Outlaws Venom Frog in that orange color that I always do really well with at this location. Just picked up this brand new frog. My other one caught a ton of fish, but it finally bit the bullet the other day. And uh, got a brand new one here, so we got to break this particular frog in with a fish. The bowfin out here are actually spawning right now too so if we catch one of those in its spawning colors it's gonna have green fins which would be really really cool to see i've never seen that firsthand i've seen the photos somebody actually caught one out here yesterday but i would absolutely love for that to happen i've actually never caught a bowfin on top water either all of mine have been subsurface so if i could get one on a frog today in those spawning colors that would just make my day We got a fry ball right here, guys. Some small fry, but it's definitely some fry of something. Hopefully the parents are right there. Oh, dude, look at that snakehead sticking his fin right out of the water, right to the left of me. Doing some mating stuff, but his fin is right there. Look at it, he's behind my, he's behind my frog. Look at that. That's incredible. He's right behind my frog. Hopefully he comes up and hits it. That was just awesome to see. Doing spawning things, he didn't seem too interested in it. This fry ball is right in front of me though. <laughs> so a lot of things happening at once. It's a definite fry ball though. Oh look, there he is with his fin again. That could be the parent right there. Look at his fin guys completely out of the water. I'm gonna throw it behind him. Try to pull it up in front. This fin is literally right there. Frog is on top of him. Look, 
parent just made a move. Millions of baby snakeheads right there. Oh yeah, it's definitely a snakehead fry ball. It's little orange babies. boys there we go it's a good fish too there we go look at the colors on that snakehead took us long enough but it was well worth it look at them colors dude yeah boy yes sir this is one of the prettier snakeheads i've ever caught in my life man holy crap i wasn't sure that he had it but i set the hook anyway I'm sure glad I did. There we go, got the grippers in them pretty good. About a four and a half, maybe five pounder. Just a gorgeous snakehead though. Been out here for a while today, finally got it done. Love the pop that I heard on that one. What a pretty fish. This thing is so dark, man. Holy cow. Let's get this release going on right here. Once again, one of the prettier snakeheads I've caught this year and in my life, to be honest. Let them live, baby. Let them live. There he goes. What a pretty fish. So that fish was tucked up all the way under all this duckweed back in here. And I figured this is where they're going to be for most of the day because it's pretty hot out here. They're not going to be in the open water. They're going to be up in that cooler water way back in all the thick stuff. And he was right behind this plant right there. Congrats over there to my buddy Kelly. He just got his first ever Delaware snakehead. He's caught hundreds in Maryland. Catches them all the time. He's already caught over a hundred this year alone in Maryland. But that's his first ever Delaware snake, so congrats, Kelly. Great job. Happy to be a part of your day for that. Remember, when you guys are snakehead fishing, you gotta go where other people will not go. And I doubt if anybody has been back here in a while. A little close quarters, becoming one with nature. Get through here, man. Hopefully it pays off. Ooh. Something big just waked over there. There he is, look. What on earth? My frog's not even near that though.
fish right under it. Look at this. He's right there. Dude, he's right there looking at it. Eat it. Eat it. It's a bowfin. It's a bowfin right there, dude. Big bowfin. Oh my gosh, man. It's a bowfin right there, dude. Big bowfin. Bro, that was insane. That was like a 10 pound bowfin followed my frog right up here. You can, you can see it so well. Huge bowfin. Nice one. Oh, dude, that's a big snake. Dude, that could be a dragon. That could be a dragon. He ate it so softly, too. Holy crap. What a soft eat for a huge fish. Wow. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Are you kidding? Dude, look at that tank, dude. That's a, at least seven or an eight all day absolute beast well folks today has absolutely been a grind but at the end of the day i come through with a giant man it is absolutely well worth it these things have a proficiency for getting off of grippers but that thing could be every bit of 10 pounds i'm gonna wear but what a beast of northern holy cow the way it bit i thought it was like a two pounder but man, she is heavy. She's probably full of eggs. Just an all around tank. Yep, definitely spawning. Look at the tail right there. It's all bloody and everything. So we're gonna be careful with her. We'll treat her nice and get her back very soon after I grab a couple of pictures. But this fish made my whole day. What a beast. <laughs> Snakehead Outlaws Venom Frog again. Orange, crushing it. We're gonna call it 3.6 kilograms. So I'll flash that weight right up there on the screen. We'll see what she is. 